We do. It's a brown hooded kingfisher, and it has got an enormous meal in the form of these very large crickets that we're seeing out and about at the moment. We're hearing them almost every single evening. Now, that cricket is almost, uh, I'm obviously exaggerating because we as guides are king, kings and queens of exaggeration. And as I was going to say, it's almost the entire length of that kingfisher's body. I reckon, I don't know actually how it's going to eat this, if it's going to swallow it all in one go, or if it's going to pull some appendages off. No. Ah, oh, my goodness, you did that so quickly and so easily. <laughs> Well done, brown hooded kingfisher. Yeah, it probably gives me the heebie-jeebies too, swallowing something like that, but I suppose you're used to it. You're used to eating crickets and all sorts of strange in insects. It actually looks quite chuffed with itself now. Don't you think that's amazing? Well, that is going to take some time to digest, I'm sure. I don't think it'll be searching for its next meal right away. It might take a bit of time just to relax, just to rest. And... <laughs> Free Bree said that that was a giant bug. It was indeed. It was a seriously, a seriously good meal, especially for this time of the year. There aren't many insects out and about. The occasional grasshopper here and there. African monarchs are still about, but not everybody likes to eat an African monarch because they are toxic. But those giant crickets are delicious. Now, I completely have forgotten what species of cricket it is. It slipped my mind. Um, but what they do like to do is at night when we hear them sort of making their beautiful calls, searching for mates, is that they normally dig out a little tunnel to help amplify the sound, which is quite impressive. And there's one that lives in camp we're able to see almost every single night, and we hear it almost every single night too. So Kingfisher, please come and pay us a visit so you can take care of that cricket because it makes quite a racket every night. Ooh! Tally Ho, you said number 92 on your bird list. Fantastic. Tally Ho, we'll try and get you to 100 today. How does that sound? So we'll, we'll focus on a bit of birding. They keep flying away, though. We've tried to put a couple up on screen, and we even had a gray-headed bush shrike, and literally as we turned the camera towards it, it flew away. It would have been beautiful, too. I was going to play a quiz with you. It was silhouetted against that beautiful fiery pink and orange sky. Now, we're not seeing too many kingfishers at the moment. And the brown hooded is the resident. Uh, although I think, I think Byron had a sighting of a grey-headed kingfisher the other day, if I'm not mistaken. I think it was. We're seeing the pied and the giants down at Chitwa Dam, and I'm hoping that we get an opportunity to go and visit Chitwa Dam. That's where we're slowly making our way to, and I'll have to just find out if there are any guests in camp or not, because that will be the deciding factor. But I just think that that is lovely. Thank you, Senzel. Fantastic camera work. <laughs> Very cool. And I hope you got some nice screenshots of uh, that brown hooded kingfisher with a cricket in its mouth. Remember to hashtag Safari Live on Twitter and share all of them. You can also ask us lots and lots of questions.